So let's talk about how uh, round one Lippy Shoop Flaminica uh, works as a deck. It's a pretty big brain deck. You got to get pretty used to uh, piloting it. It's I think it's even harder to pirate pilot than our um, our Shoop Compass deck because that one that one we're aiming to play Compass for Lippy in round two, but this deck is aiming to play Lippy the actual card in round one and this deck plays four echo cards magic compass erendite hen guide sword and delirium and so uh at some point you're going to get four extra cards into your deck from these four echo effects and you need at least minimum bare minimum two cards in your graveyard when you play lippy in round one so those two cards plus the four echo cards are going to get you to six cards total. And that's you're going to draw six cards in between round two and round three. Together, you'll draw six cards, right? So if you have two cards in your graveyard um, before you play Lippy, you should have zero cards in your deck at the end of round three. Uh, you can also probably... Play Lippy with like three or four cards in your graveyard in round one. It, it's possible, but uh, and maybe even better idea because if if you have um, like a thinning card, like say Lady of the Lake, or your opponent's gonna mill you, you might want to be able to do that. So this deck is basically looking to play its golds. Every single every single card you play in this in. A 16 card round is pretty much going to be a gold except maybe one or two and then for its bronzes and its lower end provision um of the spectrum they're just it's just all filler beasts we put in almost every single beast in four and five provisions even a six provision giant boar uh and they're just there to put into your deck in round one lippy them all to the graveyard and then get a really big corrupted flaminica and you can play Corruptive Flaminica twice in this deck. It's once by from hand and then once from like a Facusia off of Magic Compass. Or sometimes you can even get Facusia off of Delirium. <clears throat> you play this deck probably more than any other. Sintrin plays Aguera instead of Lady now, but I still play Lady. Oh, I see. So um, I also saw he had Gremist in the deck at one point. Have you tried with Gremist? What do you think about Gremist? Was Gremist being used to purify the Doom off of Corrupted Flaminica so that you could play Corrupted Flaminica three times? Um, and then speaking about Lady of the Lake versus Aguera, yeah, Aguera is also a beast. Lady of the Lake, I think I like Lady a little bit more because um, when you play this deck in round one, you really want to get the Hengaida's Sword in round one before you play Lippy. I think um, you often want to play Hen Guidus Sword, play Shoop, then play Lippy, and then that gets you the undoomed version of Hen Guidus Sword back into your deck, and then in round two, you can play the Hen Guidus Sword for a card. Sometimes, like, if, you, if you're lucky, you get something like a... something really good, like um, a Zoltan, warrior off the Hengaida sword then you play play Hengaida sword for Zoltan warrior in round two and then play Hengaida sword again the doom version uh for Zoltan warrior in round three you've never played Gremis personally okay I did see Gremis in there for a little bit um and I think the idea was to was to purify corrupted Flaminica when you res her sometimes you don't have enough consistency to get the corrupted Flaminica in your hand and some, like sometimes you're forced to lippy her, right, into the graveyard in round one, and then you only get to play her once from Facusia. But with a Gremis, you basically get an extra extra use of the Corruptor Flaminica, potentially. Sometimes she just gets heat waved, so who knows. Aquera is also good for control, for lock, she, and, and she's a beast. How does Delirium work? Delirium is an echo card as well. Um, the first time you play it, well, it's first instance, it's non-doomed instance. It's bonds, it shows you one random Skellige beast and one random Skellige human that are not in your starting deck. And then um, 
when it's doomed, the doomed version shows you bra uh, gold Skellige beast and gold Skellige human that are not in your starting deck. Um, but they're random. So it's not as good as Magic Compass. And uh, what I usually do with Delirium, I typically leave it in the deck and lippy it to the graveyard so I don't have to play the bronze version. Because the bronze version often isn't very good. With this, with the way this deck is built, we're actually playing every single bronze Skellige Beast except for Messenger of the Sea. And so if you do play Delirium the first time, non-doomed, it will guarantee show you Messenger of the Sea plus a random bronze Skellige human. And Messenger of the Sea has synergy with Hafru or it has synergy with like Magic Compass into Fakusia or uh, Kraken. I don't know if I, I don't think I've, often played Kraken off of Magic Compass in this deck, but it could. Um, yeah, is there any other way to get rain? Not really. So yeah, usually I try to get Hen I try to get access to Hen Guidus Sword before I play Lippy, and then I try to leave the Delirium in the deck. But the um, the priority really is to is to leave the really bad beasts in the deck. So you want to leave Morkfarg in the deck because Lippy will bring him out naturally. You want to leave S uh, Anglerfish in the deck because it's just kind of a brick. Crow Messenger is bad. Uh, Musicians of Blaviken is really bad. Um, King Cobra can be very bad unless you roll a, a poison off of Rodea. This deck doesn't play Rune Mage. And that's one of the main reasons I haven't played this deck as much as the other Shoop, Lippy, Shoop Compass deck. This deck, I... The reason that I love Shoop so much is because of Rune Mage. And so I, I get frustrated playing this deck because I try to go for Shoop options and then it just misses. And uh, I get frustrated by the RNG. But Rune Mage really doesn't work that well with this deck. Because... He puts a he puts a runestone into your graveyard, but maybe maybe at some point. What do you, what do you think, Persian? Since you seem to have a lot of you say you have a lot of experience with this deck, do you think it's possible to play Rune Mage in this deck? Like we could play Rune Mage instead of Lady of the Lake and downgrade Giant Boar to a four P card. You can get Messenger Synergy with Shoop too. Oh yeah, if you go Shoop Weather. Hey, Christmas Chopin. You've been away for so long. Delirium is totally different from what I remember. Yeah, they, it got reworked. It got a pretty complicated rework. Um, and then the old Delirium effect got bundled into uh, Gigascorpion Decoction. Gigascorpion Decoction now has the option to do uh, the damage 6 to 1 unit or split 6 damage randomly among all units on an enemy row. Hey Timbo, big time a lurker and not up at this time usually since your move, but good to see you on Gwent. Oh, thanks. Bit of a throwback, but I did a level one Elden Ring playthrough and got Melania with your golden parry strategy. Hey, that's amazing to hear. Uh, that's awesome. I still have that uh, Melania run on my highlights, on my uh, VOD collections on Twitch. Sometimes I just like go back and watch it because it was so so epic, so fun. That yeah, Melania and and I want to play Elden Ring again soon before the DLC comes out. Persian says I don't see how you'd fit Rune Mage easily. So my idea was probably to cut Lady of the Lake, cut Lady of the Lake in a six to a four P. But there are no more four P beasts left, so you kind of lose a beast. You kind of lose two to four points on Corruptive Flaminica to play the 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 Rune Mage. But my 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 biggest concern is like. Also, this deck, because it's lipping in round one, it really um, it really needs to draw its gold in round one, naturally. And you have like a Curse Scroll, and you have a Triss Butterflies, and you have like a, what, a 30-something percent chance or a 40-something percent chance to get Curse Scroll off of Rodea as ways of getting, like, what do you really need in round one? You need Lippy. You, you really need Lippy. You really need Hengaida's Sword. And you really need Corrupted Flaminica. But you also really want Rodea and Shoop, right? And Arcane Tome can get you Shoop. And Arcane Tome can get you Hengaida Sword, I guess. 
Um, you don't need the compass. You don't need the erandite. You don't need the delirium. You're okay with you're okay with um, putting these to the graveyard. These three echo cards, not Hengai the sword though, but these three echo cards, you're okay with putting to the graveyard because um, you'll get to play them again. Compass is what I, out of those three, I think Compass I sometimes like having in hand because then you can often play Compass for Legendary in round two and Compass in hand for uh, and Compass for Legendary in round three as per scroll, right? But I mean, I guess it also likes to go second for Reach. Mm, this gets us Hengaida Sword, so maybe we want to mulligan this. I don't have Lippy. Yikes. Nice. Okay, we got Lippy, but we're missing Radea. We're missing Radea. We're missing Trisbutt. Trisbutt is not a huge loss, but we're missing Radea. The righteous shall be recompensed. Okay, let just kill that. And then, I have so many shit beasts in my hand, though. And, so, uh, do you guys agree that it was the correct move to mulligan the Hengaida sword? Maybe we don't play Shoop yet? Like, he's not gonna kill our stuff right away. Yeah, maybe we don't play the Shoop yet. Oh, how wonderful! You speak our tongue. Cause I want to save the shoot for like killing a Saskia maybe. Three deal three here would be really good. Destroy random enemy unit. Spawn row effect. <laughs> Easy. This is why we keep the shoot. Rewarded for not playing Rune Mage. Pointing at it and manifesting yet. Yeah, and I'm also row stacking because of Cat Witcher. Although maybe I should have... Uh, no, this is fine. I, Lippy goes back row and Morphar goes front row, so I can't really avoid playing both rows for much longer. Does Gremis purify Shoop? Gremis purifies Shoop, but it doesn't really matter unless the Shoop dies before you play the Lippy because you're Lippying in round one with this deck. I think... If you do play Gremis in this deck, it's to purify a doomed Corrupted Flaminica so that you can compass twice for a Corrupted Flaminica. But sometimes, like in this game, if you don't draw a compass, then you can only really compass once because you're going to lippy the compass into its doomed state. Hmm. So I suppose we play lippy now. My troubled ground steps lightier than you. You get the Shoop special again, yes, but like it would be nice to get the Shoop token again too. But it's very rare. Even if you purify, you have to kill it first, or you have to let the opponent kill it first. <sighs> well, I guess it's gonna take some more patching. Hmm. I should maybe play Delirium actually. I should play Delirium with the Hafru that turn. I spend more time passing cabbage than I do eating. That was it. a mistake. I lost two points on this Delirium. <laughs> hey, nice. We didn't hit the armor. That's good. He didn't take the pass. I thought maybe he would have taken that pass. So here we just play our garbage bronzes, right? I think maybe... I don't know if I should lead her now because uh, it's not that likely that we're going to hit the Cat Witcher twice and we're probably going to hit the Chameleon. Maybe we kill the Elf and he gets Elf tag again. You want to tempo with Flaminica? 
if we tempo with Flaminica, we are risking getting letting her get poisoned and then losing the round and then losing the game because we can't we can't echo this Hengaidas sword again. So I think I'd rather play it safe and just save the Flaminica for last say or maybe second to last say when he can't have two poisons anymore. We're just going to do this. Flaminica is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 24 again. Like, I think this deck, you'd much rather be safe and win down one than try to uh, try to overcommit too hard to win uh, on even and then expose your thing to Tall Punish. You expose your Flaminica to Tall Punish. We want it. We need to draw the, um, the Hen Gaidas sword. And... I... Guess we we don't want compass right now because compass we want to play for last say in round three. And I gotta draw the hen guy to sword. So I think we also don't want the Arendite. We just play this and this. We're gonna lose our card. Which means we lose last say. It's a little awkward. Is this deck good against Henry Shu? I have no idea. But probably not. Mainly because Henry Shu has a lot of tall punishes. They can tall punish the Corrupt to Flamenca twice. And they also can copy your Rodea. Because they're Shoop valid. Wow. You get clogged. You don't get compass? Wait. Oh, you're saying against Henry Shoop. I thought you were talking about this game. Yeah, uh, against Henry Shoop. I mean, there's there's strategy. Maybe they play the Henry. Maybe you wait till they play the Henry before you play the Lippy, and then you don't get clogged as much. Hmm. Why is he doing this? Why did he offer me a pass? That was strange, but I think we're s hmm. Wow, what is happening? Are we going to actually keep our card? Shoot resilience? No. I want shoot for uh, artifact removal, potentially. Okay, nice. We get his Corixus, we get his leader. Cool. Take the final step. So, we do lose our last say, though. Do you think we should play Delirium? Do you guys think we should play Delirium here? Pass? Resilience? Mm. I don't love the resilience. Because, like, he could poison it, and the poison would actually carry over to the next round as well. Delirium procs Harmony 2x if you take the human. True. But I don't care about points. Like, points isn't going to get me my card back here. You know? But I think shortening the round is probably good. I don't... How how do you guys feel about Gold Delirium? Or Echo Delirium? Like, the Echo version of Delirium. Is it really... How many points on average are we getting from this? I don't think it's that good of a card. I feel like I often find just, like, very meh stuff. I don't think we have a way of getting this Crow Mother back. We don't have like an Axle. And even if we did have an Axle, we're still resing Crow to Flaminica probably, right? Like, we just... Like, we had a 10, right? Olaf was going to be a 10 if we played Olaf. And also, Olaf would... It actually would only be an 8 because 
Olaf in the graveyard gives us two more uncorrupted Flaminica. So he's holding Scenario and he's holding Harmony proc, maybe. Scenario and, and what? And Dana. He still has a Dana that he hasn't played. Maybe we should have gone Shoot Resilience. Shoot res if, if we think it's Scenario Dana in his hand, we would go Shoot Resilience Leader. Force the... Uh, or maybe not even Leader, but Shoot... shoot yeah, Shoot Resilience Dana is probably okay. Or Shoot, or shoot Resilience Leader maybe okay. Here. I am one of a kind. Artifact. Cool. Also would have been fine with just destroy random enemy and play as a 16. The Sen Gaida sword has been so good. It killed an it killed two Anthurians and a chameleon in this matchup. Okay, we're we're growing the Arandite here. Oh! I forgot these seagulls are still in there. And we beat Heat Wave. GG. He should be mine Corrupted Flaminica. OP. 32 for 8. Can you combi? No, we didn't have last save. We can't combi. We didn't have last save. This is just more points than combi, anyways. Our opponent is stunned. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's the rage quit. Alt F4. Making a post on Reddit right now about how dumb Corrupted Flaminica is. I mean, it's kind of dumb. <laughs> it's kind of, when you look at it as like a 32 for eight, you're like, why does this exist? But, I mean, you do have to build your entire deck around it. Combi only works... Combi only works if you have another card to discard. You can't discard your opponent's card with Combi if you don't have another card in your hand to discard yourself. Unconditionally 32 for 8, yeah. Okay. What about Shoop Transform? No. Shoop Transform is not the same. You can shoot transform your opponent's last card even when you don't have another card in your hand because their text is different. Shoop transform uses an and in its text and uh, combi uses a then in its text. So in, in, in Gwent, if there's something that the card text says, do this, then do this, then the second thing only happens if the first thing is able to be uh, executed. Uh, whereas if it says do this and do this, then both things happen regardless of whether the other is uh, applicable or not. She's like a 12 for 8 if you play good cards. Uh, I mean, I think... Uh, I think she could be a little bit higher than that. Vampires. Okay, Vampires is going to be fighting hard for round one. I, I hope we draw you? a good hand. We got Flaminica, Redea, and... Lady, that's good. We need Lippy or sh we need Lippy, Shoop, and uh, we just need Lippy and Shoop. I think we get rid of this. That gets us Shoop, and then I think we get rid of this because we need Redea for Curse Scroll. Compass. Okay, so it's all going to come down to Curse Scroll. It's going to come down to 40% Curse Scroll on this Redea, I think. Catacan, new card. Shoop Echo would be insane, yeah. Catacan, new card. 
Uh, I think we play... I think we play this? Damn, we hit that too many times, but whatever. I was hoping to kill the Ekimara and only hit the Katakan once, but I think this is fine. What does the Flamita, Corrupted Flamita actually do? She boosts herself by two for each unique beast in your graveyard. So uh, if you have like multiple copies of the same beast, it only counts as one unique beast. I have to fight for round one. I think we should be like super aggressive. Uh, but I don't have guaranteed shoop. <laughs> Without having guaranteed shoop, like, what do you do? You just believe! What would you cut to fit in Rune Mage? Probably Lady of the Lake and Giant Boar. Giant Boar down to a 4P uh, boat? Funeral boat, maybe? And. Yeah. Okay, and then we believe again. Oh god, he's clicking the Arcane Tome. That's bad for us. We also don't want the Arcane Tome to end up on our side of the board. So this guy is Golden Necker, I think. I think our opponent is playing Golden Necker. Uh, don't forget Rodea Cobra synergy. Oh yeah, that's true. The we got Curse Scroll world. and the Venom, no, but I think we go are. for Curse Scroll because we need the Lippy. So do we play... Do we click this Arcane Tome again? If we don't click the Arcane Tome again, we don't have enough stuff in our graveyard. So I... Th I, I think... Oh, but Delirium is so bad. <laughs> Delirium puts too much stuff in our graveyard. I think I still have to, though. God, and we get a thinner? This message is for we get a thinner? Oh, I mean, I guess we could play it front row for ant for not thinning. We're giving him something to click again, though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't feel good about this, because we have to play another Bronze Delirium this way. Uh, I should have not clicked it. I should have not clicked it. Well, hmm. Maybe. Actually, actually, it might be okay. It actually might be okay. Look at this. Look at this. We take Lippy. We put back uh, this card. We play the Lippy. And then we click the Arcane Tome for Hen Guided Sword and get a Catacan. <laughs> oh, baby! Oh, snap. Okay, so now we have three cards that we're drawing into round two. We have one, two, Echo in the graveyard. So we're, we're, having, we're at five cards right now. Bleeding Effigy. He plays Bleeding Effigy. Savage pair value whenever bleeding is applied to an enemy. Hey, Confusion. Hello. Welcome. We're playing this big brain uh, lippy... Round one lippy deck. So I can play this again, right? I think I can... I think I can play the Shoop or the Delirium again. Because right now I have three cards. I'm going to have five cards. So I'm going to draw three. I'm going to be at two cards. And then if I play this, I can also play this. Holy shit. I don't think we play Shoop. I think we play Delirium here. I don't 
of rain. Or maybe... One born to hang will never drown. Or maybe... Folk can be just as treacherous as the sea. <laughs> oh, man. How dare you, foul swine? <laughs> this turned into a rain versus vampires matchup. He has no more specials. He can't click the arcane tome, which is perfect because I don't want to click again. What the heck? New card. Always the best stream moments with these decks. Yeah. And now the sea serpent is getting value. Wow. Uh, I don't have a reset, so I guess we try- look at that synergy. I try to lower the value of this so the beast won't grow as much. You need melee space? I don't need that much melee space. I'm only going to click this one more time, and then I'm going to play this front row, and then these can all go back row. These three can go back row. And we're running on even right now. Okay. If you believe in any gods, pretty big. Pray to them now. And we're not winning on even pretty soon. Pretty soon we're not gonna be winning on even. I I think we I think we still save Corrupted Philomenica for last. I really, really want to win the round, right? I don't even know if we're ahead. Yeah, we are. I guess we are. If you steal the Catacan as Syndicate, it basically goes infinite with bloody good friends on the board. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Yeah, but you need enough coins, I guess. What does Serpent do? Um, it's a four plus... Plus one point for every turn in this round that um, that rain or storm triggered on their side. Oh boy. Was this devotion? Ah, I guess he's devotion? It kind of looks like he's playing devotion. Um, but he's losing six from the rain, and then he's gaining two... So he's losing four. I'm losing one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm losing net two. And then he's getting another. Oh, wait. I'm also losing on this. I'm losing four. Five. <laughs> I'm confused. Help chat. I think I don't want to make too many seagulls. I need to save space for two more units. So I don't want to make too many seagulls. I, I purposely did not make an extra uh, third seagull in my graveyard. Because two seagulls is probably enough. Oh, and the blood moon. I didn't count the blood moon either. Uh, I should be clicking. I should have clicked this last turn. Even with one unit, it's maybe still worth it because of the messengers and because of the sea serpent. He's devotion, right? If he's devotion, can he even have tall punish? I mean, Imler's Wrath, maybe. Do you think his last card would be Imler's Wrath? If we play the Corruptive Flaminica and he has Imler's Wrath, we're going to lose the round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not even that big. I'm going to... Not even that 
big holes. It's not even that big, so I don't even know if it actually gets me ahead. I didn't do the math. Oh, this is... He's playing? This last card might be Regis. It might be. It's Verena. Okay. Alright, we went on even. Nice. Right? Do we win on even? I lose three. I'm at 47. I need 17. 17. There's no more rain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14, 18. I think I have 18 points. Only the strongest will survive. Oh, yes. NA math pulls through. We win by two. <laughs> okay. We didn't have that many beasts in our graveyard, but it's looking very good now. And uh, we've played all of our Echo stuff. And we just hold this hand. We just hold this hand, we dry pass, we get double last say. And we have to play a four point front row scout, but that's probably fine. A lot of their top end is also gone. Yeah, they spent a lot trying to fight for that. With Unseen Elder, Detlaf, Verena, Riptide. One Flutter, one Necrat gone as well. The two Necrats gone now. Shoop Transform is Regis. Yeah, we could Shoop Transform our Scald and then like Transform is Regis. I mean, we have double last say, so we can also Heim his Regis. We could go uh, Hen Guide the Sword, Magic Compass, Heim. Or I guess we can we can com Compass uh, Compass Corrupted Flaminica. It's probably still the safest, unless yeah, he's not gonna have graveyard hate for the Corrupted Flaminica, right? You're one sexy witch, and oh, I'm boom. here to please. This was a nice Hen Guidus sword in this game. Combi Regis? Well, I have to play Shoot before I can play Combi. And, and the Magic Compass has more opportunity cost than the Shoot. Because Magic Compass is going to get me a Facusia into Corrupted Flaminica. New card! Proto Flutter. Wait, why didn't he Proto Flutter this? Well, I guess I don't, I don't know if it's really different. <laughs> oh man! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, young one. <laughs> you are weak. <laughs> Alright. I guess you guys get your combi. We combi a shoop. This is the ultimate Giga Chad play. We combi a shoop and get his Regis. I've never... I don't think I've ever combied my shoop. I mean, maybe I have. Maybe I have combi the shoot where it was a guaranteed win, but like... <laughs> Woo! What a game! Death Wish? Yeah, more than 13 because it'll also boost the cards that go from the deck into the graveyard... Uh, from the graveyard into the deck. Hey, Gabane. Mm -hmm. We're going first. Sand or hard counter, yeah. 
We always open Raging Bear because, well, a lot of times we should open Raging Bear because we have no units on the board and we're eventually going to have to play it. Like, I can get, okay, so what's the plan here? We get Hen Guide to Sword with Lady of the Lake. Triss Butterflies gets us Lippy. Curse Scroll gets us Corrupted Flaminica. And then Radea gets us Shoop. If we're lucky enough for Radea to get us Shoop. I I think we double leader this. Or I could single leader and hen and oh we want to sort of suck. Yeah, we want to sort of suck. I think we double leader this. We play the Triss. How can I help? We put Morphark back. We get Lippy. Could have also done like curse scroll for shoop now and then use shoop to try to kill that. <clears throat> greet it, 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 greet it. You've got to buy a. Oh. Okay. <sighs> Easy curse scroll. <laughs> He might pass. Like after I I still need to play Hengida's sword. And then he might pass. Wait, where's his Dagon infusions? He didn't get any of the things that he Dagon infusioned. Uh I need to play the sword now. So I think we just. Right, I kinda have to just play the sword now. Watery tart. I have to play the sword before... Well, I, I guess I could play Shoop first. Maybe I should have played Shoop first. Uh, yeah. Crap, I'm gonna get punished when he plays Succubus right now. I'm gonna put this to the bottom, and this to the bottom. Or is it Giant Boar? Punished for not clicking scrolls? Um, I, I don't think so. He's not going to pass. Second giant toad. Okay, we can take shoot now. Get corrupted flaminica. Scroll for squirrel. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. Like, the squirrel plays for four tempo. When, like, I'm gonna miss one of these to scroll for squirrel, it's not, it's not worth. The opportunity cost is too big. Uh... I technically do have two cards in the graveyard. Maybe I don't need to shoot. Maybe I can just lippy. But I think we... Like, what if he passes here? If he passes here, I might be kind of sad. Because I think I, I still have to play the Lippy. Even if he passes here. Whereas I could have played Lippy last turn. And maybe he passes anyways. And then I, I only play one shoot, but I still have the shoot in my hand. Okay, he doesn't pass. Oh, he's playing the Megascope. Is this the Miamon deck that we played earlier this week? Lilith's Omen? This could be the deck that's playing Lilith's Omen. Yeah. I think it is. With Bloody Mistress, Lilith's Omen? They have a heat wave. Okay. 
Okay. We're up 21. We have no leader charges left. Damn. No access to the hand guide sword right now. What if I passed here? That's probably not good. Hey, yeah, it's probably not good. Is this giant boar ever gonna get better than right now? Which is right now it plays for six. I don't have any leader charges left. He doesn't have anything that's gonna be damaged. I think we just play it now. In this matchup, I'm not really confident that it's going to get that much better. Wow. Still fighting for it. Does this deck play Maruna? No, it doesn't. Um, Can we do the Erendite? Because I have three cards, four cards, five cards, and then Erendite will be six cards in the deck. And then I won't be able to play compass in round two, but that's fine. I don't need to play compass in round two. I only have one more compass. That's fine. I can do it. Why are you playing something that isn't Henry? Do you are you only playing Henry these days, Gavain? I played Henry yesterday. It was pretty fun, but it was like also very tiring. <laughs> I don't think we should pass there because um, if we pass there, we only have five cards in our deck, and then we will have. If he dry passes us again, we won't, won't be able to play the echo on this hand guide the sword or the echo on the erendite uh, to to give us our six card. Now we can pass. Now we have the ability to pass, but I don't think we want to either. I think we just want to keep playing. I'm a one faction familiar this season. Oh, nice. Um, what's your what's your preferred Henry sh uh, Henry uh, Nilf card list? How does he do these points? He's got one leader charge left. I guess he's got a giant toad in the graveyard. I think we just play this. We gotta eventually play it anyways. Okay. This is nine points. This is eleven points. Shit. So if his last card is Heat Wave, he will win on even. If I play Corruptive Flaminica, he Heat Waves it, they trade, and then he gets 9 and 11, he's up. So I, I kind of feel like we got a pass now. And I don't love trading this Elder Bear for the Seleno Harpy. It gave him enough time to get ahead. Oh my god. Shit, that's the worst out of all outcomes. There's a Cyclops in this deck, which is not in Miamon's list. So possibly no Lilith's Omen. Oh no, there is Lilith's Omen, because he played the Gurnicora. So now his Lilith's Omen is brick. Do we win the long round three? Uh, I think so. With all of our golds and Banish on Hengaida's Sword. I think so. But he still has two Sucks left. He has two Sucks left. Not just one suck left. We want Triss Butt. Didn't get the Hengaida Sword? Fuck. Hengaida Sword at the bottom. Eh, hmm. Okay. 
I think we're still fine. I think we're still fine. Even if he decides to push, we're probably still okay. We can just play Corrupted for the last to make up all the points. Not expose it to the heat wave. Everybody wants Tris, but hey, Kerp. You got clapped by Sintrin so many times by this deck. What do you think about it? Do you think it's legit? And hey, Kerpton, where am I? Yeah, he's playing. Hmm, the seize becomes bad. Okay, let's go Delirium, maybe? Could be Sintrin makes so many things look legit. <laughs> a delirium here. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we go... Wait, well, he has to... He's gonna consume... He's gonna play at least one more card. Yes! Oh, so many options! Okay. Uh, talented. Fakusia again. So Fakusia plays for... 16... Morphark plays for 14. He is a wasted genius. He shall be mine and forever. Wait, there's a Morphark in the graveyard! Oh, how Damn it! <laughs> I should have Fakushed into the Morphark! Oh, crud, I just realized right after I clicked. <clears throat> well, I mean, we're getting... This is this Hoffer is playing for 12, because we're getting three turns of rain. It's kind of playing for 12. The Morkvarg only plays for... What, what do we say? 14? So it's like two points better, but dooming this is also bad for the Flaminica. It takes away two more points from this and the Flaminica in round three. So, yeah, I should have... It was... <sighs> It's better to play the Morkvarg. Morkvarg has more points in this round, and it's also, like, more points for the Luminicas in the next round. What did he play? Lilith's Omen into Foglet. And, and what? It doesn't show me the second card. Shoop transform the Triss. No, I don't think... We have to do that. I don't think I will. I think we just play Triss. I will not let this become a second <clears throat> And a Succubus. Okay, so the Succubus got doomed. Wait, no. It, yeah, it, it got doomed, right? And it got doomed, and the Foglet got doomed, so there's only one Succubus. He's gonna play his last card, because he still has to consume this. We have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. So that's twenty-nine. Twenty-nine reach with the Flaminica. Okay. Hey, you guys, Pokemon. Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. Punished for not taking the Fakusia into the Morkvark. Wait, 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 Fakusia just died. Wait, Fakusia just died, and now it's 31. <laughs> yeah, easy. And then he loses two from the rain, and we lose two from the fog, and we get to keep our card. Hell yeah. We get to keep our card, we get to keep our last say. He still has a heat wave, most likely, but we now have last say for Compass. Wait, I can't play one of these cards? How sad. Oh. That is kind of sad. Rege is crying in the corner. Why? I can still Fakusi into Morkvar. Yeah, that's true. Uh oh wait, I do I do play both of I do play all these cards. Never mind. Uh oh, compared to Flaminica, I see, I see. Yeah, baby! Round four resilience. Let's go.
I could have taken transform, maybe. Maybe worth it to take transform. This is a nine though, and it might be more than a nine if he plays um a, a sock. He does have one more sock. Oh. <clears throat> How you doing, Kerpertin? Having a good day? Pretty late there, your time, right? There's the sun. I don't have a dirty mind. Oh. oh. It's not that I'm always mm. sexy. It's you who's always sexy. We're still fine. You played League all night. Oh, geez. Man, I remember in college, uh, my roommate and I would play Dota. Dota 1 all night. We would basically play until like... 3 a.m., 4 a.m. all the time. And uh, in our dorm, lunchtime ends at 2 o'clock, or maybe it was 2.30. <laughs> and uh, I sometimes had trouble waking up before lunch ended at 2 o'clock or 2.30 because we were playing till 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. And we would have this thing where it would say, like, we oh, can't end on a can't end on a loss and then we would just keep spiraling out of control because we we're getting more and more tired you broke my heart. You shall never find can't get a, can't end on a loss can't end on a win either frozen throne yeah you command of culture Kerpton. Warcraft 3 frozen throne If I stayed up this late, I usually skip a day sleeping. Oh, jeez. Hello there, Gwent Soul. How you doing? I'm sounding like the biggest boomer right now. I mean, I kind of am. <laughs> I kind of am. My college days back in my day. It was so long ago. We're doing pretty well with this. Getting a little better feel for it now. Knights, huh? Top 64? Are we? I don't think I've played enough games. I haven't finished my placements yet. Hey, Umu. Yeah, you should be able to link it, Amdor. I think. Actually, well, let me see. Permit Amdor. Does this work still? I don't, I don't think. I changed bots, but, so I don't think it works that, uh, like that anymore. We need to get rid of this. We're going first. We need to get rid of this. And, uh... Probably Seagull's very bad against no, uh, Northern Realm's Knights. Hmm. Okay. This gets us Hengideth. This, get, this gets us Lippy. And then we're missing Redea, Shoop, and Corrupted Flaminica. That's not good. So what if I what if I did Arcane Tome with this? And then no, but I, I already have Lady of the Lake for and Arcane Tome is pretty bad against this deck too, because they have Oniromancy AA. It's not good. I'm not happy. This deck seems better than NG Shenry Shoop, maybe. It's 1 a.m. Let's play until we lose, an all-nighter. <laughs> 105. <laughs> oh, man. The righteous shall be recompensed. Let's get rid of that. <clears throat> used to be really high rated. Dude, I used to be really high rated too. In uh, in Dota. I used to be... Um, leader of the clan that was number one in North America. And we would win. We would win first place in tournaments. And at that time, the tournament... 
rewards, the prizes were keyboards and mouse pads, and now it's $20 million. You lost me at NA? Ah, <laughs> damn it. I feel like we're gonna just leader this as well. But I gotta be careful about like, yeah, I think we just leader this as well. I think the plan is we put back. Mm, we put back this. Oh no, I should have put back delirium. Maybe, maybe I should put back delirium. I can still have a chance to put back delirium if I want to. Like, is is it better to play the first delirium? Or is it better to play like this card or this card or this card? Die than bend the knee to the emperor. Centurion an operator? He did have operator at one point, but what was he operatoring? Or was he just putting the operator in the graveyard because it's a beast? Have you ever played Dota 2? I have a little bit, but I never got good at it. He doesn't operate or anything, okay. Yeah, so he had like operator and gremist at one point. But that was before this deck got another provision with the shoop. Um, I think we're getting rid of this. I think we're playing the. I, oh, I can't play the lippy yet. I can't play the lippy yet. Jeez. Okay, don't fail me. Oh shit. Okay, we'll do this. Oh nice, that's a good one. That's a good one. It doesn't get blocked by the shield. Very nice. You can operate an elder bear for mental damage status. <laughs> More uh, we good? Are we good to Lippy now? It's still a bit sad because we're losing these, but I, I can't get them anymore. One thing we could have tried to do is we could have tried to Triss butt for the Redea and then roll the Redea for the Curse Scroll to get the Lippy, but then it's so bad if uh, we miss the Redea, if we miss the Curse Scroll. Now this is going to be a game where we lost a lot of power because we didn't play the Redea and we also didn't play the first Corrupted Flaminica. Okay. We win the round though. We win round one, down one, we spent both of our leader charges, and... We also, we also didn't get the first Flaminica. What if this deck was just Rain Leader? Um, I think you want the Flurry for the control. This deck doesn't have enough control. Rain, Rain Leader doesn't provide control. It just provides points, but you'd rather have control, I think. Okay. I need to echo three things in this round. Oh boy. Oh boy. This could get tricky. I need to echo three things in this round. Oh how wonderful. You speak our tongue. I gotta echo this, this and this before I can pass. This is already echoed. Onslaught and Flurry, the same provision. Oh, thing? Yeah. Feeling a bit of deja vu. Do I kill that? That's not really a threat. Cause he doesn't have immortals anymore. He could get another he could get more shields with the other thing, but wait, how much what power is Knight Errant now? Is it three power, one armor? You want to get a second squire? He might not even play a second squire though. I guess we're killing it because I don't really have anything else to do. This compass, we don't want to res Flaminica with this compass. Because I want to res Flaminica with Last Say. He's going to play Heat Wave, maybe Spores. 
this compass, I don't... What do we play? Maybe, maybe like a Morkvarg for a reset? Melusine on Immortals. Whoa! That's Giga Brain. Melusine on Immortals. Actual Giga Brain. Any reason to click here? I mean, if we click, I could kill this with Sea Serpent next turn. If he doesn't play a boosted unit right now. But I think I... I, I don't... I don't think so. Maybe next turn we can still click and play Sea Serpent. If he only has two units in this row. No, okay, well... Hmm... Th you thinking Melusine? I think we save this for Morkvarg. I think Morkvarg is going to be really good. Right? Morkvarg should be really good here. I think I go for this, though. I am going to try to go for this. I roll. Yes, nice. And it hit this as well. So now this is going to have difficulty getting to its grace five because this is only going to boost by three. Best give up now. Melusine is extra beast. Fakusi is also extra beast. Kind of. I guess not because we're resing a beast. Probably take the Delirium now. I could also Erendite this Redanian Knight, but Redanian Knight just isn't that big of a threat. You guys really want to go Melusine? I, I think Morkvarg is so much better, right? Unless he's able to stall so hard. <sighs> Maybe we just take the Erendite. Yeah, we take the Erendite and Rain guarantees kills the, the Thronwind. And then it gives us, like, the shield comes off of this, and then maybe we can just take a tier instead of a Morkvarg. Halt! Don't retreat! Damn it! Hmm. Do they have removal? Yeah, they usually play Heat Wave and Erendite. We can Hjalmar, too. And we have a Rodea, yeah. This is not doing anything anymore. There's no scenario, there's no Bronwyn. We don't care about this. This is worthless. Both Yalmars do the same thing. Ooh. Let us put our steel to the test. Okay. Get rid of the shield. Your shield, sir. We played this beef after the Vandergrift? Okay. Well, should have taken Melusine. Because it doesn't look like we're using the Morkvarg. I guess we go Hjalmar. And we Hjalmar this. And I might think about passing, even though my wolf pack isn't going to be that good in... I never like, yeah, if I play this, I'm losing my card, right? I might actually lose my card now. Okay. I'm passing. I need last day. I don't care if this ends up playing for, like, a two in round three. I just need last day. Okay. Yeah, seat wave's gone. That's fine. This should be a win. I wish I could play Care Trolled for random Sigvold turtle rolls. <laughs> Always combi? 
<laughs> it's kind of fun the combos with. What can I do for you? Arendite. Arendite me. I don't think his Arendite is at 12. <laughs> I don't think his Arendite is at 12. Oh, he locks it. But, I mean, it still blocks Arendite. I guess this is fewer... Like, we lose two points for Corrupted Flaminica by taking this. But the Bjorn? Bjorn was, a f like, a four. Onward! Shotkirk leads the way! Yeah, there's really nothing left to kill, right? All as one. Try to get one extra point on the wolf pack if we can. He can't Arendite either of these! That's kind of funny. He actually can't Arendite either of these. We might be able to get a combi here. Probably not. He has to play a three. Almost. Almost a three. Hand Guideth remembers the first target no matter what. That's correct. Is this card better? Nah. Arendite's not big enough for us to lose to it. I think we just want the points. Art thou worthy? It's a five. Arendite's a five. He shall be mine and Corrupted Flaminica. Casual 30. Again. <laughs> 34. And actually like 40 if you actually... Or not 40. 38 if you get all the rain. But there's two turns of rain that often get wasted because of the last... You, you want to play your tall unit last. Rune Mage will minimize two beast tags? I don't... What do you mean? Oh, you're saying, like, if we if we switch... If we switch our um, Lady of the Lake and six provision beast into a Rune Mage, we would lose two beast tags? I think we only lose one beast tag from Giant Boar. One beast tag, but that's like four points of carryover. Uh... Or it's like two to four points worth of a beast tag. One beast tag is worth two to four points, right? I mean, Rune Mage might get us a beast. But it's not going to be a unique beast, most likely. Because if it gets us a beast, if it's a Skellige beast, it's going to be one that we already have. A bronze Skellige beast. Isn't Giant Boar too good for Delirium? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we want to have the... I guess that, yeah, that's true. Like, the having the giant boar in your deck makes it so that Delirium Gold version can't get it. So it's also, it's also a pretty significant RNG uh, factor. So yeah, I think the deck is fine as is, and we just have to, we just have to accept that we don't have Rune Mage, and that we just have to YOLO shoot. Which faction from Rune Mage has the most beasts? Beast, unit, bronze, faction. Monsters has about sixteen ish. So it's monsters. Definitely monsters by far. Scoia'tael is not much at all. Scoia'tael has apparently four bronze beasts only. Launchcraft, thanks for the raid. How you doing, Moshcraft? We're playing some round one Lippy Flaminica, Sintrin Lions list. It's been very good so far. The Rune Mage is not worth it. I, th I think it's probably not worth it. Battlewing? Tatterwing. Crystal Skull. Tatterwing could play Crystal Skull. 
right? Doesn't really clog your graveyard anyways. I think it's okay to clog your graveyard with one or two cards, I think. I don't think it's the end of the world if that happens. Uh... I don't have I'm I'm red coin and we don't have lippy. That's not good. Okay, I I'm probably going to have to YOLO compass. YOLO compass to get either Triss, Lippy or Redea. Hopefully. But definitely could miss all of those. Plays Oneromancy. Tatterwing, I don't think it typically plays Oneromancy. So that's a little bit different already. Oh no, that blocks my Reckless Flurry. Silence. It's usually better not to touch Sintry Index, yeah. Okay. Um What are we gonna hand guide it? We could maybe hen guideth like I mean we could try to hen guideth uh Ser Quan. Or maybe just this Night Wraith. It's kinda sad. Not if you hen guideth the Wraith, yeah. Like I'm just I'm thinking like maybe we just need to do that. Uh Crew Nagelfar's crew is a card. Yeah, okay, that's true. That's true. Oh god, I can't I can't play this. Oh, I think I'm just gonna hand guide it to the Wraith. I can't play the seagull, right? I can't play the seagull before I play Well actually no, I can play the seagull because they will all come out of the of the it will come out of the graveyard. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to get Lippy in this round. That's the scary part. Okay. What do you guys think about... <laughs> oh, man. I... I was thinking deal 13, but we might miss. We might miss the deal 13. And then, and then we spawn weather on every single row. Okay, uh, that's fine too. That's fine too. We got both of them. Which one do you guys want? Deal 13, right? Uh, I might put the squirrel in our graveyard. It's okay. We, the squirrel will dodge it. There's so many targets. No, stop. Squirrel, you're okay. Oh, we killed everything. <laughs> Oh man. I was thinking about leadering too to get ahead for the Arendite, but that's fine. No, okay, now I have a squirrel in my graveyard. That's probably I mean maybe it's okay. It's not great. I gotta say it's not great. So Magic Compass now? Dude, what happens if we miss? If we miss, do we just straight up lose? Like, what does this deck do when it misses Lippy in round one? I haven't really had to deal with that yet. Oh, nice. Oh, but now we have too much stuff in our graveyard because the squirrel also there. I will not let this become a second mm. Sodden. Which one do I want to... I gotta take the Lippy. I can't risk the Verdea here. It says Biliat. Yeah, I don't think we could have hoped there for that much better. That Interesting. Interesting. He just leaves it on the board. Ah. Uh. Okay, 
Well, I got a couple of ideas. We could, we could leader kill most of his drones and then kill it with seagull. Or we could even kill it with raging bear. Yeah, I think this is just, I think it's this, right? And then we play Lippy, and this goes away when we play Lippy. But now I have seven cards in the graveyard. Or seven cards in the deck. And then I still have two Echoes, so we're going to have nine cards. And then this is still Echoing, so this is... Uh, uh, these are... These are going to be Undoomed. So we're going to have tw 11 cards. We're going to have 11 cards total. So our, like, our compass is pretty bad. 11 cards total, we draw six of them. We're gonna have five cards left in the deck. Yeah. We ended up basically having too much stuff in the graveyard because of the compass, putting this in the graveyard, and then also the squirrel died. Denying Lara is big enough, you know, worth it, worth it to lose compass? Probably. But we also lost six points from our corrupted Flaminica. We lost we lost a second corrupted Flaminica, and then we lost six points from our First Corrupted Flaminica. Pretty big. Not sure. I actually am not sure if we're winning this, chat. We also have no answer for... Without the compass, we have no answer for Morbud. We have no answer for Tatterwing. Like, Shoop, maybe Shoop Transform. Shoop Destroy Random Enemy, maybe. If we're super lucky. But, we, like, those aren't guaranteed either. Okay, Gels is gone. So now we can now we're okay with the Lara being back in our graveyard. YOLO OC. Huh? What is YOLO OC? We're losing four. YOLO Orange County. Okay, so what does he still have? He has Tatterwing, Morvud, Eat Wave. Tatterwing, Morvud, Heat Wave, Serquan, and then Bronzes. I'm losing another three. I need 12. I'm at 14, I need 12. How bad is stuff like Roach Best Boy? Uh, for this deck, I think it's bad because like, you are playing Lippy in round one. So you're not like the Roach and the Best Boy are still going to be on the board when you play Lippy. So they don't come back. I need 13 points. Leader's five points. And then Wolf Pack would be nine points. Okay. We're forcing out the last card. Wait, you can't see how much power it's at. What? This board's OP. Roach helps with Erendite? Yeah, it does, I guess. Our Erendite is maybe kind of small in this game. Only a three. Okay, we got his Heat Wave. Nice. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Hey, Google. Sounds like you should take a look at the animal well. Came out today. Sounds like a Metroidvania that's full of puzzles and brain teasers. Oh, cool. Thank you for the recommendation. Never heard of it before, but that's great. Animal well game. Uh, I was gonna, I was probably gonna play Halo, Hades 2 after we finish um, 
uh, Monsters Expedition either today or Monday. Hmm. I only need to thin one more to get compass. So maybe we can play shoot, play random card, and then get a compass, and then get Flaminica. These are echoed already. No, this Arendite sucks. Roach helps with Arendite. That's yeah. I mean, we could take a look. Thanks for the great recommendation, Gulo. Animal well. I'd definitely check it out. Is this Lara any good for us? We do have Night Wraith. I've played Child of Light. I liked it. I think I don't want this. Hades is quite good as well. You want a crow mother for delirium? Oh jeez. Hmm. Oh my oh god, okay, well. We know what we're doing. No! <laughs> no! <sighs> the pain. Transform or no balls for COC? No, 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 no. I think we're going... I think we're going this, and then we have double last say, right? We have double last say? Uh, Heim is not a beast. Damn it. Heim is not a beast. Let's go see if we can get a Heim We've from caught another Taskmaster. Fuck. You know what I should have gone for? I should have gone Hunter. We should have gone Hunter, and that gives us a 90% chance to get two good outcomes. One is destroy random enemy, which is probably good enough to win, and the other is play random card. Play random card enables the magic compass. Can this card thin for us? Delirium? Oh, we could get a, we could get a Sove from Delirium. Right? Upon the crest of the waves, neath your wings outstretched. If we got a sove, that would have been so good. Run, run. You'll not get far. Uh, so he still has. Morvud and maybe Serquan. Morvud and maybe Serquan. <laughs> I mean, this rain, this storm thing does nothing. Does Kelpie work? Kelpie does work, yes. Kelpie does work, but. Uh, maybe Kelpie was more? I don't know. Bear back row for more damage units. I think it's better for this to get to the, get to a two. 
If this gets to a two, we get four boosts on Giant Boar. When the bear gets damaged, we only get three boosts. But yeah, I mean, we have no, we have no win con. Either way, we're, we're losing. Unless he misses Tatterwing, or not Tatterwing, Morbud. He misses Morbud, we still probably lose. Yeah. I sh I should have taken the. I should have taken the Hunter, Shoop Hunter. But this is why, like, I, I do get end up fr getting frustrated at this deck because of the no room mage part. If we charm that, we we win easily. <laughs> we charm that as a 54 point shoot, man. And he played right into it, too. Ah. And we were just one card away from getting Flaminica again. Damn it. Oh, we were, we we're going to talk about Roach, right? Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Shoop, paint the spear, grab the card. Where's the old Casino Lippy deck? I mean, I still play it. It's it's still fun. You want Crow Mama instead of Roach and a random alchemy? Yeah, Crow Mama instead of Roach is better. Only one provision more. Alright. We have almost everything we want. Okay, so this hand we have... Tris Butterflies that gets us Corrupted Flaminica. Arcane Tome that gets us Shoop slash Hen Guidus Sword. And then Curse Scroll that gets us the other one. That seems okay. We're up against Relics, Golden Necker. So, hmm. Trump Charmer's too good to risk, though. Yeah. <laughs> Cabane. Oh, what is this? Just a, a Yotun? Wait, was there a wasn't there like a random golden necker Blaviken list with Yotun? I think there was. How can I help? Oh, I want this. Almost took the wrong thing. Actually, maybe I should have buffed the Lady of the Lake. Because I actually want the points on the three points on Lady of the Lake instead of on the Flaminica, right? <laughs> Should we go crazy and like bunch of do a bunch of leaders? Yotun is good in Golden Necker Musicians, yeah, because like you're already you're not paying any provisions for the five P Ice Giants, I guess. Like, am I? I don't know if I'm going to hit this three times. If I do eight damage, I mean, I guess it's kind of average to hit this three times if I do eight damage. Hey, Tia, what is this game? All right, let's go. Two more. Two more. Come on. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, disaster. Actually, disaster. Okay. Oh god. Okay, so now it should not grow more than five. Oh, he might, he might leader it again, though. He might leader it again, so I don't know. 
They made the cards thin. Wait, what? <laughs> How was your stream, Tia? Uh, I was... I, I definitely want to um, take another look at Lorcana now that there's been two more sets out. I didn't... I played one game in Poland with the second set cards, uh, but I've, I haven't looked at any of the, like, location stuff since the third set. Oh, damn. That's too big to stop now. Right? It didn't look that way the last... No, they... I... I think it's just an obstacle illusion in your mind playing tricks on you. Mm. We will go and, I think, probably hen guide at the Chironax. Show you. Now there's two in the graveyard. We can probably just lippy now. Is there anything else we want from the deck? Squirrel, maybe? It's Golden Necker Relics with Jotun. In this deck, it's crucial not to lose your head. No, don't say that. <laughs> Why? Well, because they definitely haven't. They definitely haven't made the cards thinner. It's maybe you're just too used to looking at Lorcana cards, and Lorcana cards maybe are a little bit more square than Gwent cards. That's gotta be it, right? It's gotta be that. This doesn't get me ahead, sadly. Uh, We could play Redea. We could play Redea to get ahead. To fear, there is nothing. Mm. I'm gonna leave the one on the board. Maybe we'll play Giant Boar for seven. I thought you were playing on mobile. <laughs> no. Damn. Damn, one one power away on the Erendite from killing this Witch Apprentice. Now we do that. It does get us ahead as well. And then we can play Compass, maybe. What do we want to play Compass for? Love to give you a crash course on Lorcana. I'm casting official oh, event. Oh, nice! Congratulations, Tia! Yeah. So good to hear. Hmm. That's annoying. Ball. Some of these uh, Golden Necker lists have cut Nova now. Um, I'd probably rather play... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Is there a good legendary that's not Facusia that you guys can think of to get for right now? They, they don't play any Tall Punish, right? I don't think they play COC, at least not Standard. Maybe we just play the Corrupted Flaminica here. I would, I would like to win this round without playing the Corrupted Flaminica though, but I don't think that's going to happen. I shall rip the weakness from your soul. Did he split? Oh, he did split. He did split the, the self-eaters. Hmm. We could try to shoot Charm on the on our first play to get the Siri Nova back over to our side. I could also need to save the, maybe save this shoot for Necromancer's Tome, but I think I'd rather just push the Necromancer's Tome out in round two. Maybe 2-0 two him with the last sake Magic Compass into um, Facusia into Corruptive Flaminica in round two. Do I drink coffee? No, I never drink coffee. Oh. There's our there's our compass. That's a tier then. Or a Morkvarg. Boost self by the num amount of damage. 
a unit is boosted. So it's sadly seven point giant boar, but it's okay. It's our last bad card that we have to play and then everything else is good. Right now we have a delirium in the graveyard. So we have uh, enough cards to draw into and then we need to echo this, echo this and echo this again. We basically have to, uh, yeah, we basically have to win this round. Did I drink tea? Uh, a little bit of chamomile tea recently since I got to Korea, My but you uh, before that, no. A plague. Hmm, I'm thinking... I'm thinking Arendite first. And then Compass, if we have to. Water? Yeah, I drink a lot of water. I, I drink almost all water. Uh, sometimes, like, occasionally, like, juices. Um, and occasionally, very, very rarely, like, Sprite. Tears of your foes, yeah. I don't drink, I don't drink alcohol. I'm very, very plain when it comes to beverages. But yeah, I recently um, tried some chamomile tea when I was sick in uh, in the hotel, like uh, two months ago, and it was very good. It was very soothing. Chamomile tea with a little bit of honey, very soothing for the uh, for, hey, hey, you are what you need. <laughs> for the sinuses. Are we gonna get two? Are we gonna get? Are we losing on even? Shouldn't be right. I mean, what would his last card be? I'm gonna go for a tier. More points than Morkfarg. Even though it can't be rezzed. Honey, very very nice before bed. Oh, yeah? Can we get care trolled with Compass? Yes, you can. You can get care trolled with Compass. Nice. What, what were you thinking, Kerp? With the care troll? Okay, we're winning this. Oh, Turtle Hyrule on Delirium, then Care Trolled with Compass. <laughs> uh, the Chironax. I, I want to play Shoop. And I need to... I think I got to get rid of these two. Yellow. Yes. Shoot. Shoot. I'm going to try to force out the Necrotome slash Golden Necker in this round. I'm worried though. Like, in order to force Share it out, I it might. Share the love. It might require me to play Magic Compass in order to force it out, and then I don't know if I have I'm much so later. It's a pity I can never finish. Get rid of that. It doesn't banish, but whatever. I could have banished the Incubus, but then I don't kill the, the Self Eater, and I really want to kill the Self Eater. Or just a carry over play, yeah. Tear can often be a carry over play as well, but that's subject like that's subject to. Okay, we get it. We get it without having to play the compass. That's that's great. That's great. And then like we can even if even if we lose our card now, I think we are fine because he doesn't have tall punish. Now I would pass because I played the I played the Hengida sword. Now this echo will get me to three cards, and we won't mill ourselves. Blueberries, blueberries, for the lady of the woods. And let's just save this for. Round three now. You can RNG Delirium for Pacusia if you're super lucky. But you need the Delirium for the for the turtle, right? For the Draco turtle. Okay, he has last say. Let's also banish some stuff. 
What what threats are left? He's got like a second incubus, which is good points. And then maybe I don't think this version is gonna be playing Riptide. Satisfaction guaranteed. <laughs> this is kind of funny. <laughs> Our eight damage Hengida sword has been pretty good. Brother, every monster deck is with, except Tatterwing plays Riptide. Um, there was a version of Golden Necker Relics by Lirio that did not play Riptide. Zincubus is minus two on your Flamenca. Oh, that's true. Oh, let's speak of the devil. But I think we should take Ulula. That gives us more points for Flaminica anyways. Oh my god, what did she say? <laughs> I couldn't- she just screamed. I couldn't tell what she was saying. The premium though. That premium Ulula. Um, he has last say anyways, so I believe we should just go and get it and get some rain value now. In before you COC. You shall never find peace. Time you return to the dirt. Is Ulula a legit name? Probably, probably a legit name. Doesn't really matter what I kill at this point. Right? I think we win. We win versus COC by one point. Nice. Doesn't show the last card. Damn. Maybe we could deduce what it was. Nice climb so far today. This deck has been popping off. We've only lost one.